what happens when I die? That begins a new series that we're going to be starting here, a two-part series on, on is there really an angel of death? Why do we fear dying so much? And why are we just why are we afraid of death? Generation upon a gen, upon generation, we've been taught to be afraid of dying. Is heaven so real? Yes. Is there really a heaven experience? Is there any proof that heaven is real? I'm going to share some teachings from the Course in Miracles that helps us truly understand heaven being absolutely for real. Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me in another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. And I'm excited about this session here, actually the two-part series on why we should not be afraid of dying. You know, is the angel of death for real and what happens when I die? Let's dive into a little bit about what the Course in Miracles can show us about this. But before I go on, let me explain that in the description box down below is an access link called Presence and Power. I hope that you'll access that free video that shows you a system that successful people use to get over their fears, especially where death is concerned. For some individuals, though, death angels can be something reassuring. The angel of death, though, is thought to be is, is thought to come and take the spirit of that person to heaven with them or something similar. There are plenty of illusions, illusory references by the ego-based mind that is the human that is in all of us as humans. That fearful and doubting aspect in, in us. There's plenty of references references about what happens when I die in the angel of death in our society. For instance, there's plenty of movies, there's artwork, there's books, and, and even a video, and even video games that represent the heaven experience and proof that heaven is real. By the way, read more at my blog that also includes a podcast on the fear of death and over, how to overcome the fear of death, excuse me, for a better life of happiness and overall well-being and fitness and health and, and mindful energy putting you in a, in a right-minded approach to life. The access link to that article is also in the description area down below as well. So I hope that you'll read that, uh, absorb that article for what it's worth for you. But usually though, the angel of death and the fear of dying is associated with something evil. For example, in the film Ghost, remember that movie Ghost with Patrick Swayze? The death angels are those that come for the bad, for the bad individuals that are dying, that are that are going to die, and takes them somewhere scary. The death angel was projected to be dark black images that take the individual off shouting in a scary sort of way. And then there's the fear of hell concept that has been instilled in us. Consider what an all-loving father cast his child into a forever burning oven. I doubt that don't you? And there can be, and, and the idea that, you know, there is a heaven and a hell, but think of it this way. How can there be a heaven and a hell? Because that would mean that eternity is forever split apart in two, where eternal oneness is wholeness, is wholeness of mind and is all love, and wholeness of mind has no separate parts. So therefore, how can there be a heaven and a hell? So remember, however you truly believe, it is okay because you are you and don't let others try to influence or try to frighten you. Don't let fairy tales from generations past try to dictate how you know in your heart what is true. Now, The Course in Miracles teaches us that the kingdom of heaven is forever extending oneness of love because it is in the mind of God. Now I'm going to repeat that. And by the way, I've got a couple teachings here I'm going to give you of the Course in Miracles. And let me get this out of the way and say I've also included these in the description area down below as well because many of you like to jot these down. The Course in Miracles teaches us that the kingdom of heaven is forever extending in the oneness of love because it is in the mind of God. Consider that when you ever are fearful of anything in your life. So don't let anyone convince you that a death angel is something frightening and very dark. That you know, we use the term grim reaper as a 
term once dreamed up by fearful and doubting humans with much confusion along the way. I'd rather myself see the death angels as that something with a capital S, that something divine and soothing where the eternal bliss of heaven is so real, an awareness of total oneness and wholeness of mind where conflict just does not exist. Only the love of the creation and everlasting peace. The Course in Miracles will confirm this by saying, there is no confusion in the kingdom of heaven because there is only one meaning. The meaning comes from the oneness of God and is God. Wow, I'll repeat that. The Course in Miracles explains to us that there is no confusion in the kingdom of heaven because there is only one meaning. The meaning comes from the oneness of God and is God. So with that being said, to me, this is proof heaven is real and is the heaven experience, which is nothing but love, which is all love and answers to what happens when I die. Total wholeness, no, no separate parts of eternity. What about you? What's truly in your heart? How do you truly see what happens when you die. So how do you truly in your heart <clears throat> think about the death angels or the heaven is for real story? Let's you and I smile together. Let's smile to the heaven in you and in me as being one. I hope you enjoyed this thought-provoking video, and if so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would just love to have you as a subscriber, and as always, I hope you're thinking about your own life and your own inner beauty, that inner awesomeness, that is of love and learn to start extending that love, that inner beauty of you to the material world, making your life situation just wonderful. As always, thanks for listening to me and God bless.